Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to go over real quick uh, tracked mode control setup. I've already set up these controls, but I'm going through and setting up a system for somebody. I'm actually doing a couple of them, but um, I've already done this one. But I'm going to go back through it and show you guys how to properly do your controls for the attract mode front end if you're having issues with that. But you do want to make sure you have a keyboard plugged in. Press tab on your keyboard, go up to controls, hit enter, we'll start at the top, back, which is exit, go ahead and remove these inputs. Typically the first input is going to be a keyboard input, usually want to leave those just in case. So for our back, we're going to want to use the B button, or at least that's what I'm going to use, the B button on my controllers, and I'm using iBuffalo Super Nintendo controllers. So I'm gonna hit enter on the keyboard, press B, had another input, press the B on the second player controller. That way we're mimicking everything. Up, we'll go ahead and remove those, hit enter, add input, press up on the first player, add input, accidentally did right and up at the same time, so I'll remove that. Press up on the second player, good to go there. Down, let's go ahead and remove those. Hit down on my first player. Press down on my second player. Left, go ahead and remove those. Typically, if you have anything, those are what my controls actually are, but just for the sake of the video, I'm removing them just to show you sometimes you'll have conflicting controls because every controller the inputs are mapped a little differently or pinned a little differently as far as the encoder goes with controllers or arcade sticks and whatnot so it's best to remove them um, and leave your keyboard inputs so we'll go ahead and press enter press left on the first player press left on the second player Right, we'll go ahead and remove them. Press right, press right on the second player. Select, I want that to be my A button. You can use whatever you want. I typically, with controls, I will use the A button. A, A, and select is what you use to choose your displays and then to choose what game you want to play. Displays menu, uh, that's an important one. Let's go ahead and remove those. Displays menu, I typically will use the start button. Um, if you're scrolling through games or systems and you press the start button, it will bring you back to your wheel with all your systems on it. So that does come in handy. Kind of need that. Configure. Tab, that's what we press to get into this screen. So if you want to have that on there, you, your controller after doing all this will be fully functional in this screen. So we do want to have a configure button. I use the select button. And these controls that we're inputting for attract mode, they don't affect the games or the controls and emulation station whatsoever. This is just for attract mode to go through your wheels and to select a game or to press the display button, which I have set as start, to go back to the displays menu, or select to go to the configuration menu. Previous letter and next letter, I like to have those set. Um, what they do is, if you're not aware, previous letter, for example, if you're scrolling through a list of games, Nintendo, for example, and you're in the Ds, all the games that start with D, and you press the button to go to previous letter, it will skip through all those games and go back to C. If you're on A, it'll skip and go to Z. So it just makes it quicker to skip through games if you like. I press the L button. I like to use the L button for previous. Do that for both controls. Use the R button for next letter, and that'll be the same thing. If you're on A, it'll skip to the Bs. B's will skip to the C's, and so on and so forth. Press the R button for second player. And that is it.
for our attract mode front end controls. Pretty simple stuff. Once you have that set, you're good to go as long as you have your controls in RetroArch and with a name or anything else that you need to configure set up properly. Um, you should be up and running and ready to roll with that. If you have controls that aren't similar to these, you know, most controllers, they have a similar layout. You know, four face buttons for your action buttons and then trigger buttons and then a start and select or a back and mode or, or however. Um, if you just always do, do it the way you're comfortable, it works. I like to stick to this setup. Um, and a lot of people like it that way, so that's why I figured I would show this real quick for those of you who are having difficulties with attract mode, setting up your controls anyway. So I hope that helps. If anybody has any questions, hit me up, and I will catch you all next time.